Members of the Senate Health, Human Services and Housing Committee met Tuesday, November 3rd to hear testimony relating to the status of Minnesota's foster care system. Just prior to the hearing, committee chair, Senator Kathy Sharon of Mankato, commented on some of the topics under committee review. So today's hearing is to take a look, another look at a part of the child protection system, and that is when that unfortunate circumstance happens, that a child needs to be placed someplace outside of their home for stability and for safety, that the foster care system is able to receive those children. We want to understand the adequacy of that system, how do we license that system, how do we supervise it, how do we support the families that accept children into their homes, especially because oftentimes it's very traumatic and creates uh, a special kind of a child that needs very special attention. We're also asking people to tell us about the gaps and the inefficiencies and these insufficiencies of the system, especially as it relates to uh, the number of foster care homes that we have and what supports these families need in order to do a good job, not only just holding children in their home as a place to live, but providing supports to them that they need at this time in their life. One of the uh, concerns is the fines that the department has received for three areas. One is uh, the timeliness of the reporting on a youth survey for children in foster care. Uh, we were fined for not meeting those standards. We were fined also for the uh, kind of circular activity that children placed in foster care experience, meaning they're taken out of their home into foster care, then reunified and then replaced again in foster care at numbers that are really of concern at the federal level. So we were fined for that. And there was a third area, oh, the timeliness with which our counties were visiting children who were in foster care. We apparently have been failing to meet the standards by which counties should be making these visits to foster families on behalf of children who are placed there. So those are things that we will be asking the department to talk to us about and strategies to resolve those shortcomings. The Department of Human Services provided committee members a brief background of the foster care process in Minnesota, including how families are selected and what happens when a child is placed into foster care. When a child is removed from their home, determinations are made at the local level regarding the placement setting. Some agencies have emergency shelter care, licensed family foster care. Sometimes children are placed with relatives. Sometimes they are placed into corporate settings or other settings determined to be in the child's best interest at the local level. The committee also listened to a presentation of the county foster care system and heard testimony from numerous people working in the field, including foster care families and a former foster care child. I want to encourage you to invest in foster care. Right now, foster care is something that doesn't get a lot of public attention. It doesn't, it's not supported by the philanthropic community. My last role, I was director of development for a treatment foster care agency of three states. And getting grants, getting individual donors, nobody wants to invest in it. And then you compound that with the, the low um, uh, the, the, the reimbursement rates that you get, and you can't fund it. I mean, quite frankly, we support our lost animals in the Humane Society better than we support kids who end up in the foster care system. A recurring theme throughout the committee hearing was the need for more foster care families. Recruiting and retaining those families is a serious problem confronting the foster care system, one that lawmakers, state and county officials, and foster care families themselves continue to work through. If there is a loving, nurturing home um, interested in becoming a foster family, we need to make that happen. For more information on Senate committee schedules, visit www.senate.mn.